cool shoes. My brother would love those. Ooh, I don't share my sources. Ah, uh, well, I just found them using Circle to search with Google on my new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Uh, what? And I texted them to my brother on the other side of this massive screen. Where did you get that phone? Lucky for you, I don't get keep my sources. Tell them. Get your own Galaxy Z Fold 6 now at Samsung.com. Requires internet connection. Results may vary by uniqueness, clarity, and framing of circled image and related factors. Auto insurance can all seem the same until it comes time to use it. So don't get stuck paying more for less coverage. Switch to USA Auto Insurance and you could start saving money in no time. Get a quote today. Restrictions apply. USAA. Tired of listening to the same old playlists or podcasts over and over? Maybe it's time to mix things up. Try something new. Hit explore. Before you've even put your buds in, grab a bowl of Pebble cereal and put some fun in the mix. You'll be listening to the good stuff soon enough. Fruity and Cocoa Pebble cereal. Less blah, more yabba dabba do. Head to your nearest grocery store to buy Pebble cereal now. Yabba dabba do and the Flintstones and all related characters and elements. Copyright and trademark. Hanna Barbera. Hello, everyone. The clip you're about to hear is from one of our exclusive Patreon episodes, and like all of those episodes, it may contain spoilers, so consider yourself warned. If you like what you hear, head over to patreon.com slash horrorqueers to listen to tons of bonus content. And now, without further ado, here is your exclusive Patreon clip. Also, like gun in a slasher, like it. it the idea yeah. is subversive, but it has not to be in this case. Well, it has to be funny, and it's. Not, I, I think it's meant to be a joke, which is like gun, and like. But I, I feel like it takes too long for the the first shot. It, it doesn't work anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah. So he is here just because he wants to wallow in the misery of his son's death. I guess. I guess so. It, it's almost like he's trying to make amends. You know, I wasn't there for my son, and he died as a camp counselor. So here I am doing this for his memory. Sure. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah. So he does arrive in time to break up a racist fueled fight between Riff and Tony. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. The, we're dropping the S slur here. <laughs> that, I mean, I, I cued you off the top, folks. There was a lot of fucking racism in this. And I couldn't tell if this was white filmmakers just leaning aggressively into stereotypes like oh okay we've got men of color let's have them fight each other with switchblades and gang shit and oh boy i don't know if this would have felt more topical at the time of the film's release but it feels super stereotypical and antiquated from a contemporary perspective yeah if i was being extremely generous you could say oh well, maybe this is commenting on the state of slasher films at the time and right? how racist they were but i, I know I don't think this film is doing that. I, but no. I, I think there is a version of this film where you could do that. Like, honestly, mm -hmm. honestly, and I, I, I would glad remake this movie. I, I think you could remake some of these movies. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. Mm -hmm. I get why we don't want to touch the first one, but I, I, you know, we talked about this before. I think when we did the first one, you know, it was like, oh, have a trans director do a Sleepaway Camp movie, like, or, right. or at least have a trans writer write it. But if, if we follow the path, I mean, I don't know what that would look like, you know, but I, I think there is a way to do a really smart, maybe mm -hmm. not meta, but at least like very self aware and. Uh, or like avoid the pitfalls of this yeah and you can still make it kind of like trashy and un pc but like make it have a point right yeah or even just lean into some trans rage and have you know some woman just go off on people <laughs> and be like hey fuck all of you yeah yeah <laughs> Welcome to Bloody FM's The Hotel, a horror podcast with new episodes on the 1st and 15th of every month. Each night a guest dies a horrifying and fantastic death in a hotel, that's me, who assumes the shape of anything from a five-star resort down to a roadside roach motel. Mm. Listen on the 1st and 15th of every month on Bloody Disgusting's Bloody FM Network. Wherever you listen to podcasts. 
What's up, everybody? I'm Prince, also known as Head Knight. I am one of the hosts of Nightlight, a horror movie podcast, that's Night with a K, by the way, on Bloody FM via Bloody Disgusting. Every week, we cover horror films based on a monthly thematic schedule. We've covered and celebrated black horror, found footage, and psychological horror, just to name a few. We discuss these films to uncover the ultimate question, why horror? We go extremely deep with the films in discussion. For us to accomplish this, we break down each film, scene by scene, spoiling literally everything. You can find Nightlight, a horror movie podcast, every Friday on your favorite podcast service. And remember, everybody, don't forget your night. Get in, losers. This is the Lady Killers, a feminine rage podcast. I'm Jen. I'm Sammy. I'm Rocco. And I'm May. Our podcast is a tribute to the female identifying killers in horror and more. Each episode will feature us, your Supreme Court of female murderers, discussing our favorite lady killers from your Julias and Jennifers to your Carries and Christines. We'll tell her story, decide if it's good for her horror, and answer the most important question of all. Would we die for her? Join us on Thursdays as we pull on our sweaters, snatch our ice picks, sharpen our scissors, and honor the lady killers who live on the silver screen. No boys were harmed in the making of this podcast. Yet. (laughs) 